Hi everyone, my name is Renaud Koenraad and I'm System Engineer for the Benelux region. The next 45 minutes, my colleague Roland and I are going to talk about Extreme Cloud IQ and the new and coming features. For the people who don't know Extreme Cloud IQ, I will start with a short introduction and I will discuss the new features like the new licensing overview, a hardware update, but also a new way of onboarding devices with the mobile application. Roland will discuss the new Extreme Cloud IQ Essentials applications like locationing, air defense, extreme guest, and extreme IoT essentials. So let's start with the introduction of extreme cloud IQ. The goal of any management solution is to provide the IT department all the tools to provide a complete enterprise visibility, monitoring, and collaboration tool from one single platform. This avoids the challenges of having um, to integrate multiple databases with multiple interfaces and with multiple applications. So Xim Cloud IQ delivers a unified full-stack management solution for your wireless access points, your switches, and your routers, and enables onboarding, um, monitoring, configuration, but also the troubleshooting tools. You can run Xim Cloud IQ in the public cloud, uh, available in Google, Azure, and AWS. You can also run it on-prem in a VMware environment. And especially for the bigger customers, we also have a solution called Private Cloud, where we can run the a copy of the public cloud in a private data center. Last but not least, we also have a hybrid cloud solution where we can connect our local Xtreme Management Center instance with Xtreme Cloud IQ. And you will hear more about this in a later uh, session, another session during this Tech Talk event. So, um, when we have a look at the Xtreme Network Management product portfolio, we see our essential applications on top. Xtreme Cloud IQ Essentials uh, integrates the four enterprise service applications into its pilot subscription. So any organization with a pilot license can now access all these um, new enterprise applications. So next to that, we can also connect our local environment like Xtreme Management Center and A3 to Xtreme Cloud. And A3 is our net network access control solution. And beside that, we can also manage our edge campus and data center directly from Xtreme Cloud IQ or via Xtreme Management Center. So what differentiates Xtreme Cloud IQ from other modern network uh, management solutions? So with Xtreme Cloud IQ, we don't talk about 99.999% uptime anymore. For the past year, the uptime was 100%. Because Xtreme Cloud IQ is on our third generation cloud um, and based on microservices, we can rapidly deploy new features and functionality and, and uh, fix bugs without any downtime. And if you want to use machine learning and AI, you need data to learn from and to take action. And um, with Action Cloud IQ, we store over 1 million bits per day. And uh, we also deliver uh, unlimited network data retention. And I will discuss this, that later during this presentation. Security is also a hot topic, and Xtreme Cloud IQ is the only ISO 27001 certified network management solution in the industry, and more ISO certifications are on their way. So uh, finally, Xtreme Cloud IQ offers administrators GDPR tools to search, to download, and to delete per, uh, um, personal data, and to create a report to document these actions, so to see which admin has deleted or which admin has downloaded these data. So let's have a look at the new features available in Xtreme Cloud IQ. So um, let's first, first start with the new licenses. First, we have two groups of devices, cloud native devices and cloud non-native devices. The cloud native devices are the former AirWrap devices, the, the new um, switches, the Xtreme switches, but also the new cloud access points. The cloud native, non-native devices are Xtreme Management Center, Identify and Wing. We created a separate license for these cloud non-native devices. You can manage your non-cloud native devices with our free device management uh, solution, Xtreme Connect. Um, but also with the new license Navigator. And I will discuss later what's, um, uh, what's the value of the Navigator license. We also have the pilot license and, uh, for the cloud native devices. And the Copilot and Autopilot are on their way. They are not yet available. So customers who, for example, are 
uh, using uh, Wing uh, currently and want to move to Exim cloud, uh, uh, cloud access points or uh, want, to, uh, want to combine these or want to migrate from uh, Wing to cloud native access points, um, they can use one single Extreme Cloud Queue instance to manage both, uh, um, both devices. So with one single Extreme Cloud Queue, you can manage your pilot uh, licenses, your pilot devices, but also your navigator devices. So one single dashboard for your cloud native devices and cloud uh, non-native devices. Let's have a look at the overview of all the licenses. Axiom Cloud IQ Connect is our free device management solution and it's uh, um, for the exit points and for the switches and it will give you centralized configuration, a guided configuration, um, centralized management and also uh, some basic monitoring tools. Axiom Cloud IQ Connect is uh, especially for customers who want basic connectivity, who want the guest network or a uh, corporate network but not need features like application visibility, application firewalling, uh, private pre-shared key, or uh, advanced reporting. So with the XRQ Navigator license, you will get everything from Connect, uh, plus application visibility and the proxy uh, to manage your non-cloud native devices. So with an SSH proxy or a web proxy to manage your devices locally. With the pilot license, you will get everything from Connect and Navigator, plus features like Advanced 360 reporting, private pre-shared key, application firewalling, and all the essentials applications. With Copilot, you will get machine learning features, and with Autopilot, you will get the AI features. So beside the new Navigator license, we have made also a change in the licensing st structure. So we no longer um, we no longer send the entitlement key to customers to activate your license. So instead, uh, you have to access, you have to connect your partner portal account to Exim Cloud IQ. And this is a one-time operation. And once connected, any additional license or any renewal will ultimately be provisioned. So in case a partner is connecting the partner portal account for the customer, it will need a customer ID. And this customer ID is sent um, in the welcomes letter to the customer, but also to the partner. And once your partner account is connected, you can also see an overview of the license in, yeah, licenses in use in Exim Cloud IQ. So let's have a look at a short video on how this license, uh, license activation actually work, but also um, it will give you a step-by-step -step guide um, how to link your partner portal account to Exim Cloud IQ and your customer unique identifier ID. This video demonstrates the three main use cases for linking your Extreme Cloud IQ instance to your Extreme Portal account. Linking your new Extreme Cloud IQ instance to your Extreme Portal account for the first time. As a partner, linking a customer's Extreme Cloud IQ instance to the customer's Extreme Portal account. Linking your existing Extreme Cloud IQ instance to your Extreme Portal account. Because your Extreme Portal account contains your license information, Linking Extreme Cloud IQ to your Extreme Portal account automates your license management. In this first example, we are connecting a new Extreme Cloud IQ instance to the portal for the first time. When you first log in to Extreme Cloud IQ, you have three licensing options. Select I have an Extreme Cloud IQ license, and then select Get Started. Enter your Extreme Portal credentials, and then select Login. If you do not have an Extreme Portal account, you can create one here using the instructions found in your welcome letter. Logging into your Extreme Portal account here links your Extreme Cloud IQ instance to your portal account. Extreme Cloud IQ now has access to your license information. This is a one time action and the linking is persistent, so any changes in your license allocation are tracked. You can verify that your Extreme Cloud IQ instance and Extreme Portal account are linked properly by hovering over the administration area selecting Global Settings, and then License Management from the left menu. The green dot indicates a successful and permanent link. In the second example, we are acting as a partner, provisioning a customer account. 
As the partner, select I have an Extreme Cloud IQ license and then select Get Started. In the Extreme Portal dialog, enter your partner credentials and then select Login. The back-end business systems recognize the account as a partner account and prompt you for the customer ID or CUID. You can find the customer ID in the welcome letter, which you receive as the partner. Copy the customer unique identifier and paste it into the CUID field. Remember, because this is a persistent link, you only have to do this once. You can verify the link by hovering over the administration area, selecting global settings, and then license management. The green dot indicates a successful link. If you are not starting from a new Extreme Cloud IQ instance, you can link to the Extreme Portal account by navigating to Administration, Global Settings, License Management. Select Link My Extreme Portal account and then enter your Extreme Portal credentials. Remember, if you are a partner, enter your partner credentials and enter the customer ID when prompted. You can link your Extreme Cloud IQ instance to your Extreme Portal account in one of three ways to automate your license management. If you are an administrator managing your own network using a new Extreme Cloud IQ instance, you can link the account during the initial Extreme Cloud IQ login and licensing process. If you are a partner managing a customer's network, you can link the account during the initial login and licensing process, but remember that you need the customer ID from the welcome letter. If you are managing a network on an existing Extreme Cloud IQ instance, you can navigate to the License Management page and select Link My Extreme Portal Account, entering the customer ID if prompted. Thank you for watching. With Extreme Cloud IQ, you are not limited to a 7 or 30 days data retention plan, but the data is there as long as you subscribe. So we are the only cloud networking vendor who offers unlimited data without any extra costs. How can you have access to this unlimited data retention plan in your own Exim Cloud IQ instance? So when you create a new account, you will have uh, two radio buttons, one for 90 days and the other one for unlimited. So when you choose for unlimited data, your uh, account will be created on the Google RDC in Amsterdam. Uh, every customer on this Google RDC will have access to this uh, unlimited data retention plan. Customers on other RDCs, on the data centers, for example in Ireland or in Switzerland, they are currently having a 90-day data retention plan. So the next topic I want to discuss is a new mobile onboarding application. Every customer can download the iOS or Android version from the App Store and can scan and onboard access points and um, can assign locations and network policies and view the AP status and do some basic troubleshooting. So let's go to the mobile app and to see how easy it is to onboard a new access point. When you log in on the mobile app, you will see the overview of your devices. And when you click on the onboard, onboard button, you can start the onboarding process. You can onboard the device by scanning the serial number and then you will see the AP type and you can assign the um, location and the network policy. In the next release, it will also be possible to add a location installation picture. So when we click on location, we can assign the location, the building and the floor. And then we can assign the network policy. And the network policy is your configuration already in Xtreme Cloud IQ. And then you can finish your onboard process. You can uh, start a new one for a new access point or you can finish it. And once you um, finish your onboarding, you can um, start you can go back to the device specific page and do some troubleshooting. So you can go to the specific AP410, for example, and you can um, remove the device from here. You can new assign a new policy or update the device, but also go to the device CLI and we can run some CLI comments. So from this app, you can do a show run and we can see the running configuration on the specific device. And we can also do a show cap up client to see if there is a connection between Xim Cloud IQ and your access point. So we can do a show cap up client and we have to scroll down to see the output of the command. So let's scroll down and we see that the 
AP is connected securely to the CAPUP server, so it is connected to the cloud. You can also flash the LED light um, to see the location of the access point. And um, you can also change the configuration, uh, change the network policy and update it to your device. So, especially for the uh, mobile application, we created uh, a new admin role. This web admin role is an installer, and this role provides the ability to onboard, modify, and delete devices and perform monitoring activities. And this role is especially for the use of the mobile application. We also create a, a second admin role as an uh, application operator, and in this role, you can only access the uh, selected essentials uh, applications. So, for example, Extreme IoT, and it doesn't allow access to other Extreme IQ features. So, the next update is on the hardware side. Uh, we recently updated our portfolio with a new role played access point. That's the AP302W. Uh, it's a 2x2 AX access point. It supports uh, dual 5 gig uh, and it has a built in Bluetooth Low Energy and Zigbee radio for uh, locationing, uh, location tracking. The AP302W will have four Ethernet ports and can deliver power of Ethernet on one of these ports. Um, so currently it's a full-blown access point and uh, later this year it will support routing mode as well. And you can connect it to the VPN gateway or the XR600. So you can use it as an SD1 router. The last thing I want to discuss um, in my presentation is the man manageability of the switches in our Extreme Cloud IQ. So currently you can manage and configure your Extreme switches from Extreme Cloud IQ. And um, you can configure the ports, you can configure uh, a VLAN, a trunk port, uh, so you can do the basic switch configuration. And in the latest release, we added some extra functionalities like 802.3BT support, so uh, 60 watts per port, power of Ethernet support, eGMP snooping, and uh, visibility for the uh, 5520. We are also improving the switch monitoring tools um, with switch, three, switch 360. It's currently a soft launch, but I will show you in the next demo, uh, I will show you how um, uh, Switch 360 will going to look like. So, um, when we log in to Extreme Cloud IQ, we will start with the device view, and then when we browse to Machine Learning Insights and Network 360 Monitor, and there we have the device overview. And um, in the past, this data was only available for access points, but um, we can go, um, we can see also the switch tab and see an overview of the health of the switches. We can see the overall score and see um, the split in different subscores. It can split in the different subscores. So availability, hardware, operational, and connectivity. You can see these scores live, but also over time. And we can also see the connection status, the hardware health, and the operational health. So Switch360 will give you a 360 overview of all your switches managed from uh, Extreme Cloud IQ. So with that, I hope uh, I give you a clear overview of what's recently added to Extreme Cloud IQ. And I will hand it over to Roland, who will talk about the uh, Essentials applications. Hi, thank you Manoa, and hello everyone. In the following session, I want to talk about the Essentials applications which were introduced in our platform year-end 2020. Hopefully some of you and already had uh, taken a look at it and play with it. And I hope that I can give you some more insight in the product and close it out with a demo. So what is IXIQ Essentials? The, these are essential critical applications to enrich our platform with more functionality and will be part of the pilot license. At the moment, we talk about the first five applications, of which four are already live since a couple of months, namely air defense, location, guest, and IoT. The application for compliance testing will come soon, and all applications are added or will be added to the main menu. In green, you can see the applications already running. And initially, they, these were introduced with 410C and 460C. The main reason for 
these 400 series models is the third radio. And we can enable the third radio as a dedicated sensor, which makes sense with the air defense essentials, as well as location. Last week, we introduced the AP302W, the wall plate AP, which will be next in line to be enabled for the essentials applications. As shown, the compliance application is planned for next month. Let's take a closer look per application. Air Defense is an application that we had in our portfolio for a long time. And it is recognized as one of the best in the industry. It is able to detect over 200 threats. Now we derived part of the full version into the essentials, which is now part of XAQ. It will detect rogue devices, provide the ability to mitigate them, uh, and in this essentials versions, we enabled already the detection of 42 well-known threats. It is, as said, enabled for 410C models and 460 models. So what are typical used cases? First, of course, is network protection against hackers and other untrusted or unwanted users. Next will be to monitor the airspace, looking for other wireless objects that can interfere with your network and low down your performance. Think of anything that operates in the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz band, uh, such as drones, doorbells, uh, Bluetooth devices, a lot more. Regularly make a security assessment to know if anything has changed from last assessment or your reference assessment and do threat analysis. You will be able to distinguish severe threats that can damage your day-to-day -day business continuity or low risk threats that hardly impact the performance or damage your system. Here you see a list of the features that are part of the Air Defense Essentials applications. I'm not going to name them all as this presentation is shared with you and most are expected to be part of web solution anyway. It is good to point out that we added all kinds of help features to the application, explaining the application itself, as well as explaining the threats that are detected and what impact these might have on your network. Next, it provides some tips and advice how to prevent it from happening again. Extreme location essentials will help with tracking users, devices, and assets, and, and with the help of the floor plan, gives you an instant ID of where these are. Sometimes it is good enough with one antenna to know that a certain device is present in a certain area close to the sensor. And in other cases, a more precise measurement is needed. And we can help with trilateration or even triangulation to plot on a map where the device is located. Typical use cases are asset tracking, often with the help of BLE tags, or users or device tracking by the MAC addresses we learned on the network. <laughs> A nice used case is crowd control. We did some basic monitor on a music, big music event we had in the Benelux called Zwarte Cross. And needless to say, this was some time ago. But we discovered that we were able to see crowd or technically MAC addresses move around. When you see crowd moving, you can then decide to open gates or have some support or security people sent to a certain area. Anyway, it gives you more inside knowledge of your network and what the behavior is of your clients, users or guests. This way, you can easily adjust some quality of service to specific parts of your network where more bandwidth is needed or any other services. Last is BLE engagement. And first thing coming to my mind, is in the retail environment. 
where we are able to see the behavior of clients and give them directions to certain advertisements. Or we can use it in combination with insights to make the walking route more efficient. Guest Essentials provide nice tools for onboarding of guests on your network with multiple authentication possibilities. Hence, social media logins like Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, um, multiple other authentications uh, with SMS or email. You can easily create your own customized splash page for onboarding and use policies based on radius to authorize users. Next, you can set a sponsor, someone to give you access or at least know that you logged in. And last, we provide the overview of analytics to show the who was where and when the guests were on the network. Use cases for guests are typically when you want to know who is doing what on your network and you want to register them or a sponsor decide if access is allowed or not. Sometimes companies want to use the opportunity to advertise themselves with showing the company logo via a splash page and use this page for different countries as well. Also have access control in place. So besides authentication, also do some authorization with different policies for different roles and scheduled time for different users. Same as with location, also the who part can provide more insight for your daily business operation. Knowing who is where and what time was spent and even what role was assigned can give you information and help with certain business decisions. The last part is the IT, IoT essentials, which is typically useful for our wall plate or desktop access points. These APs have wired ports and a malicious person can take an empty port or replace a certain device uh, and try to gain access to the network. The idea is to give secure access to devices that are allowed on the network. It was already available for the AP150 and is superseded by the newly introduced AP302. Besides giving IoT devices secure access to the network and provide some policies to give it the most optimal connection, the application needs to be intuitive. So non-IoT staff can onboard these IoT devices. A nice dashboard will help to give more insight of the devices connected. It shows data uses, application uses, and duration of sessions. IoT use cases are best shown with some examples. So unknown devices should be blocked access as well as devices that are infected by a virus or other malicious threats. Some IoT devices like an infusion pump in this example are potential objects for hackers to gain access to those devices. Of course, it can be a cheap camera or any other cheap unprotected device and try to spy which can put people in danger. Therefore, the need to protect those devices from attacks. Now let's take a look at the demo to show all the applications shortly and we will come back later for questions and answers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Rich Hunt and I'm gonna give you the 10 minute tour of Extreme Cloud IQ Essentials. We're going to start with Extreme Air Defense Essentials. This has been released already, but we wanna go through the whole platform so you can see the ease and how they all blend together. Um, so with Extreme Air Defense Essentials, we're focusing on our security point. And on what you'll see is across all of our essentials, we have some, some common themes. So uh, dashboards, a, a landing dashboard, for example, is gonna be pretty common, um, showing the, the, key, the, the key information to that essential um, that you're working with. So in this case, we're looking at our security alarms. Um, we've got our map. We can see how we relate to other areas, for example, based on threats and where we are in our security platform. We can look at uh, alarm counts by severity and overviews. 
Um, and then you're going to see this pretty common button, more insights. And this is what allows you to drill into the heart of the application. Um, so in the sense of air defense, we can look at our alarms that we have, and then we can click on them. We could drill in. We can clear it. If this was a rogue AP, you would see a rogue alarm. And we can look at expert help so that we can investigate and learn how to mitigate this, uh, this situation here. Um, you can go back. You can look at expired alarms and get some historical reports uh, and then drill in even, even deeper into uh, the security of your, your network. Uh, we also have these camera icons where you'll see some videos that we've put together that explain some of the, um, the actionable items that happen within the essentials. Uh, the next step to that is extreme guest. Uh, here's our, our landing dashboard again, and uh, this is going to give us information on who's online, total endpoints, and then we have our social media information, and we also have email SMS messages that have gone out. So one of the key points that uh, I want to bring up at this point is that um, so some of the essentials or most of the essentials out of the box are usable. So they don't require uh, third-party uh, integration. You don't require uh, development or anything in order to make this work. So an example of that is social media, email, and SMS. In our system, we, we've tied our backends into these social media um, icons or the, the companies so that you don't have to create a developer's account in order to leverage Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn for your social media access. All you really need to do is add that social media access into your splash page and you're ready to go. You're going to start grabbing all of that information. So all of the work in the back background has been done, and it's very easy to deploy. Um, this is a good use case scenario for when you want to um, force people to use their social media to log in or allow them to choose an email address or SMS, uh, like a text message for a one-time password, for example, to get on. Um, so you could use this information to grab uh, different types of metrics for those that are using your your guest network. Uh, from the email SMS point of view, you don't have to worry about managing a, a relay server, and you don't have to worry about uh, trying to get a, some sort of an SMS account, like Clickatel or something, in order to get those text messages out. Um, that's all built into the platform. So if you say, I want a text message uh, one-time password, then all you have to do is say, I want a text message, and you can configure that, which we'll see in a second. Um, but it's, it's very, very simple. There's nothing third party. There's nothing outside of this. Um, you can just add all of these use cases in. Um, and the email SMS use cases would be one-time password uh, or even more so sponsored guest access. So again, more insights button gets you into the application and deeper. We have our dashboards. We can configure, create new ones. Um, so we can you know, customize how we want to um, see our data. We have our configuration screen. Uh, this is where we'll be able to select user roles and give them, you know, X amount of bandwidth, or I want them on this VLAN. Um, I want to have the sponsored guest access, or uh, I want to do just a terms and agreement. And so um, here you create your policies. It's the same as a radius server. It is not a, uh, it's not an external radius server. It's just, it's tied into your account. You can't point anything else to it. Um, you have information inf uh, coming through on your network, so your location information, uh, what networks are operational, uh, as well as the devices that are using those. Uh, you're going to have your notifications, so if you want to do your SMS um, or, or SMTP, and then you have your onboarding policies. Uh, and then some of the key features will be the splash templates, so we have some CAN templates that you could use, download them, manipulate them, send them up. Um, or you can create your own templates, and we also provide um, the ability to create these templates uh, right through the web portal. So you have your landing page, your welcome, and your failure pages. You've got your layouts. You just drag and drop them in, and then you could choose a widget or two, um, and then update, save that information, and upload it. And the delivery to this can be done the same way that you've seen it in other places, which is going to be um, select that um, select the chip mark, and then you can choose where in the tree you want to send that specific um, splash page. Uh, and so you could have a single SSID across the world, and you can put up different splash pages for each country if you wanted to, for language or, or maybe promotions, whatever it might be. Uh, we also have the ability to, 
um, look at all of our users that are currently active on the system. Um, and we can also download that information for, to, for more data mining, uh, for example, to take out all the email addresses and start an email campaign, that sort of thing. Uh, and then we can look at the endpoints that are on our system as well. And if you just want to look at specific users, you can drill in, take a look at that user account based on however you've set up their login information. Uh, next, we're going to take a look at extreme location. So uh, our landing dashboard here is going to give you information like inside uh, engaged visitors, inside bounce, outside. Uh, terminologies will be changing at some point. It won't be um, all retail focused. We're going to be looking at a whole bunch of different verticals, including healthcare, so that you can set up your BLE assets and look at fusion pumps, that sort of thing. Uh, you also have the ability to look at how many sensors are reporting and how many live devices are being seen. Um, and then we can look at our site-specific analytics here. Um, it's very interactive, these dashboards. Um, all of them are, are done this way, so you can drill in. And then we've got category analytics down here as well. And then we're going to click on that More Insights button, and we're going to drill into this application. So this is where we'll be able to uh, do all of our configurations, management. We could look at what's going on with our devices. Um, so very quickly, we'll take a look. Uh, one of the things to mention here is if you have a floor plan already set up in your um, pilot account, that will pour it over automatically into here, but you do need to place your sensors um, or your APs, whatever's doing the, uh, the receiving and sending into location, you need to place them on the map um, so that uh, we know where they are. And of course, you can do your regions. And then we have heat maps or crowding alarms as well. Um, and then you could do searches by devices and you can do assets and BSSs as well. You have the ability to create categories, access points, and manage your beacons. Um, and you have the ability to create an asset, tie it into a BLE tag. Um, so what's interesting and unique about this is that when you create it, you can actually select an image, upload that image, and you can use these confined and prohibited categories. So I'm only allowed to stay within this region if I leave, create an alarm, or if I get into this region and create an alarm, but I'm allowed in all of the other ones. And you can view those alarms in the alarm screen. Uh, we also have the ability to look at all the devices that are seen and configure all of our thresholds. The uh, dashboards are gonna give you your site-specific uh, information. So you'll be able to see what's going on inside, outside, bounce, that sort of thing. You can create your own custom dashboards. Um, and you can look at it on site level sp um, statistics, but you can also do your category statistics. And you can look at the traffic flow. So going from one category to another, uh, what, how many devices are coming and going into each category within that building. Then we have IoT. So landing on IoT, we're going to get a dashboard which will give us um, information that's going on with the top applications, that sort of thing. Uh, we can look at how top usage by client and devices. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is create a user profile with firewall access that says you can't go here, you can go there. So you can lock that device down. You're going to assign it to a group. And then what's going to happen is um, either the administrator or you can create an operator account that only sees this access screen. Um, they would just select their device, assign the group, put it in that group, and assign it, and now that device is locked. And then you could check on them, and you can watch that dashboard and see which applications and that th sort of thing that's going on with your system. And that is your 10-minute tour of Extreme Cloud IQ Essentials. Hope the demonstration was useful and gives you all the knowledge you need. So to conclude, with a cloud-based architect, you are able to manage over a million devices in any location at any time with no downtime. And total security for your wired and wireless devices. Flexible, agile, secure for our technology. And this is all done via our cloud-based solution, enriched by the essential applications. Nice statement of Leonardo da Vinci to summarize what we try to do to make networking effortless. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.